What's up guys? Today I am finally doing another hair cutting video. I think it's been about a year and a half since I've cut my hair on video for you and it's been a year and a half since I've even had any kind of haircut and uh, I spoke about this and I said that I was going to be cutting my hair soon and a lot of you guys were like, no, don't do it! But your girl needs a trim and that's what we're doing today! So I'm super excited because I'm going to be attempting the same kind of cut that I did before. I will leave it linked up above for you guys to check out and down below in the description. And I'm going to be attempting the unicorn cut. But last time for the unicorn cut, I did three different layers of cuts. So I did like one here, one here, and one here, which I'm not going to do today. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to just like bunch it together and do a one layer cut. And then I'm going to try and round out the bottoms. So wish me luck. <laughs> I'm freshly out of the shower. My hair is freshly washed, conditioned, and deep conditioned. <sighs> so it smells so darn good. <sighs> I went in with the Kerastase hair products and, um, well, for the wash, like the shampoo, conditioner, and the deep conditioner. I also have a video on that. I'll leave it linked again. But that is what I went in with. So my hair feels all salon fresh, hydrated, and washed. I really want to get the like the salon feel and the look of it and now I'm just gonna apply some hair products now I'm wondering if I should apply the salon stuff actually I'm not gonna apply the salon stuff because I don't know how much product I'm gonna be using so I'm gonna be going in with this Aunt Jackie's not having it leave in ultimate detangling moisturizer because I will be detangling while while I'm pre prepping for the cut we're just gonna get started my hair has started to dry so we're going in with my loud aggressive hairspray bottle. And we're just gonna make sure the hair is completely, completely wet. I had mentioned this before that my hair has kind of become high porosity. So it dries a lot faster than it used to. I'm gonna go ahead and apply. some of the sleeve in and continue to finger detangle as I apply it just so I can feel if there's any like dry spots which there totally are so now I'm gonna just take my hairbrush and just detangle it this way So my hair is actually mostly tangled. As you can hear, it's still really wet. So I'm just gonna flip my head over and bring the ponytail forward. You guys will see what I mean in a second. I'm really trying to make sure all the hair is not tangled. And just brushed out really smooth and evenly from all sides. So now that I have my hair evenly brushed forward, I'm going to tie it. But I'm gonna try not to like twist the hair. I'm gonna try to tie it as straight as possible. Try not to like loop de loop the hair too much. Okay. Normally I would pull it. But I know that if I pull it, it's gonna pull up certain areas and not others. So we're just gonna leave it like that. We're just gonna brush it out one more time. Make sure we have no knots. I'm also gonna go in with my comb just to fully. So now here's how you know if you've actually tied your hair properly. If I tuck here, I should be feeling the pull from the back of my head, which I do. And if I tuck from the front, 
I should be feeling those pieces right in the front. So now I'm just gonna kinda analyze and see where or what I wanna cut. There's quite a bit that I wanna cut, like if it was up to me, I would just cut this all off right now. But I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> Cause I'll probably regret it later and I like having the length. So now I have another hair tie and I'm just going to tie it again without twisting the hair too much. It'll happen sometimes, but you just gotta make sure you realign it. A lot of people cut from the end of this ponytail. I'm actually going to use my fingers as guidance. This here, what I'm working with. So now I'm going to go ahead and trim those right off. I literally just had a piece of hair fly into my chest. Hey, actually that came out really nice. Show you guys right here. This is literally why hairstylists put covers over you. <laughs> Again, I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna brush it out. You can see. I'm gonna take it out and brush through. Can't like it, I already see some, some layers. It's really nice. Thought about going a little shorter than that, but I think this is, this is like a good length. If you wanna go back, and get it a little shorter. You can always just do the same thing, cut it the same way. But now I'm actually gonna go in and part my hair into two. My mirror is right here, by the way, guys. <laughs> always wanna make sure your hair stays wet so it stretches properly and evenly. It also helps it from tangling up. I'm just gonna use my phone. I'm gonna actually check to see if my part is straight. Okay. So next I'm actually gonna start combing this hair forward like this making sure that I literally turn my head so it gets pulled forward evenly. Because at the bottom is where it will turn into that V section. And it's gonna be like that bit of hair that I remove. dropping my keep dropping my comb <laughs> that cut I just did is gonna round out my hair I'm sorry I can't really like show you guys how I'm doing this cut because I need to see what I'm doing but it's pretty much just evening it out I'm just gonna do the pull and make sure it's actually evened out. Like one side shorter than the other. Oh! To cut in. Hey, there we go. That's the back for you. 
Mind you, my hair is not gonna fully fall like this because I don't ever do a, a center part. I actually do like a side part. I don't even really part my hair. I let my hair just fall the way it's supposed to fall. So now, finally, we can go in and fully style it. I'm actually gonna go in style with the Kerastase styling kit just to complete the salon experience. I can even feel already that my ends are healthier. The reason I didn't go in with the three layered cut is I felt like that was just too many layers. And I've been watching and checking out a lot of videos of people just still maintaining longer layers with just the one cut. And um, that's really all I was going for. I was going for a little bit of shaping, a little bit of trimming at the ends. Wasn't really going for too much of a change in length. What I feel I'm super excited for is the spring up that my curls are gonna get because every time I cut my hair, my curls just spring up so much more. Like you can see the health in it. The more your hair shrinks, shrinkage or springs, if you guys are not used to the, the natural hair terms, uh, the healthier that your hair is. So please remember that shrinkage is not bad it's actually a sign of really healthy hair. Next, I am going with the Kerastase Jelly Curl Contour. So just applying this to my ends. Already you can just see the ends looking super healthy. They're curling up so nicely already. Just wanna show you guys like how much hair I actually cut off. I really did not even cut that much off. So now I'm gonna go in with some oil to really make sure I seal the ends because it's freshly cut, it's, it's easier to damage. It's really cold outside. I have Bo to walk. My dog, if you guys haven't seen him, I have a video of him on my channel. Okay, so my hair is styled. I'm gonna let it air dry. I thought about diffusing it, but I was like, no, I'm gonna let it air dry today just so I can see what it truly looks like. So I will see you guys in a bit, okay. All dry. Okay guys, this is the final result. As you guys can see, the back is more like round. Some parts of my hair stretched because I was pulling at it. But um, yeah, these are the final results. You can see there's like a little bit layers, but it's still long. Like I kept the length in the back. And yeah, as you guys can see here, layered up in the front yep <laughs> I really 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 like the way it turned out because I can flip my hair either way and the layers still look really good I think they did a really good job with how even I cut it as you guys can see here as well the curls look really healthy look at that so healthy and shiny so if you guys like this video hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you're new and hit the notification bell so you guys don't miss when I upload Thank you so much for watching. I'm becoming a hair cutting pro. <laughs> Let me know if you guys tried this down below. Let me know your thoughts down below and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.